hard up against the rocks here. See the bait school's working here. But, uh, oh, yeah, it's just working on that one. Look at that shark, did you think that you First spread for the morning will be a Zerich Speed Donkey in gold. <coughs> I'll put him further out the back. <laughs> the other little will be a trusty old Alco Laser Pro 190 deep diver, six metre deep. In a purple metallic, love this colour. This is where we get first. from a stationary position and when you put your motor in gear you'll see your bubble trail start and that's where your lure is. It takes the guessing out of it a little bit. For Spanish back lure and wahoo I like the uh, the long lure. Really really long. I like to put it right back in clean water. I just had that boat out of gear. Just put it in gear and see where my wash starts. This is a six metre one, it'll dig in real deep, so I'll keep it shorter. That way I shouldn't have any crossover dramas when I turn. This is the uh, there, I reckon. So then both these lures, pretty high speed, I want to get up around that 8 knots minimum for them. Just watch them closely when you first set off, uh, make sure they're swimming properly. Hook up. 
remember when you're out doing this sort of trolling with hard bodies. Oh, that's, oh, that's a good one there. Shit, that's a good fish. I think this is the real fish. I think that one might have dropped off, has it? Good run that way. Now this is hope, fingers crossed, they're not the dreaded back channel that plagued this spot last year. Good sign is staying up on the top, so I've still got a fish on this other one too. <laughs> I tend to find that the mackerel, the wahoo, uh, yellow and tuna, they'll all generally fight closer to the top. The little jelly bean, I can do anyway. Still got one on that rod. Right. something good. Ah, oh, he's just pulled the hooks. Fucking prick. Ah, oh. oh, that was a solid piece on that one. Ah. I don't think this one's anywhere near as big. Story of my life. Oh, yeah. Jelly bean yellow fins. <laughs> Woo! That one, uh, that one that was on that other rod wasn't a jelly bean yellow fin. There you go. Welcome back, mate. I say welcome back because it's the first one I've seen this year. They're hyper early. Be a sort of February target for this water. It's 25 degrees at the moment, so 
Don't fish by your calendar, guys. Fish by conditions. Jelly bean yellow. Oh, I'm spewing over that big one. That was fucking big. But let's go get him. He's still out there. Oh, he's going to be laughing. Yeah. Any day of the week. Why did you put the hooks? Do take two. It's gonna work. Exact same track. So I just got that double hook up. Ahead of me, <laughs> it's all happening.
great at Porto. <laughs> this one's just tracking. A bit of weight on it. I'll try and drive it in some clear water. Oh, head kicks. Oh, he's gonna eat. <laughs> that one's a screw. Oh, that one's off. Jeez. That. That's gonna be a wahoo. And it. Going like that. What a run. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not away, maybe dropped him. Oh, far out. Did I? He's coming at me. Still there. Tuna. Gee, that one bowled him, didn't it? <laughs> Off like a dry night. So, this is the thing with these little kind of northern New South Wales tuna schools, is just to find the school. Mark it on your sounder, uh, and they'll generally stay in that given vicinity. Uh, the critical thing is, when you're working like an island like I am here, is to work into the current side. against the rocks here. See the bait schools working here. But, uh, oh. uh, it's just working on that one. Look at the shark, he's just eating the hill. Really? Come on boys, really boys. <laughs> Why is it always happening? Right here. Oh, it cuts! <laughs> really? Come on. Oh, that's pretty big. <laughs> Oh 
Oh yeah, it's a tuna. Look at it. Hey, what? That's it, that's it. Uh, so very early season, but the hunch was right, it paid off. You know, the yellow seven, yellow fin all up, donated <laughs> most of them to the sharks, a couple in there. Um, and I lost something big early, which the way it was fought, had Razor Gang written all over it. I don't know whether it was Spanish back or Oahu, but it was definitely, definitely one of the two. Anyway, I would advise you, Dust off your lures, put some wire on them, and get ready. I reckon it's going to be a bumper summer for this style of fish. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next episode. Boom, him, cuz. Oh, yeah. Boom, him, boom, him.